Pedals at the front now. They'll be trying to get Boson Hagen up to the front for the sprint. Boson Hagen third on this stage before. Now Decker, the manager, is coming up to speak to Roos to tell him you really are going to have to dig deep to stay away because the bunch are determined to try and pull this Dutchman back. And what an amazing ride he's doing because two years ago he was in a coma because he had a crash on a training camp in the Alps. Yeah, but he was in the Alps. He was training during the Tour de France. Many of the teams take their uh, young riders across to training camps when the main team is in the Tour de France and he was going down a descent at a terrible crash and this is him now coming back after two years of fighting back after that crash and Eric Decker has been his mentor all the way through so if he can hold on this is going to be very very emotional right so under the bridge now and they can see Newcastle ahead and it's not going to be too long before they're sprinting it out for the line and it's still down Angling out in front then is Roos. He is absolutely determined here, putting every ounce of energy into this effort. And it really is Roos versus Team Colombia. And everything they are putting into it is not pulling him back. It looks as though he's going to hang on. Well, if we look back in the annals of history in the last five editions of the Tour of Britain, you'll never believe this, but no Dutchman has ever won a stage of the Tour of Britain. So if he can hold on, he's creating all sorts of records. Well, he certainly is going to take out that negative statistic because I can't see the team pulling him back this is the drop now that will line them up for the twists and turns when they take the bridges and then it'll be the left-hander into the short finishing funnel and Colombia are doing just about everything they can possibly do but it's not enough well remember last year on the run into the finish we had a crash of one of the Barlow world riders on the wet roads got slightly wet roads and of course when you go into a city center you have a little bit of diesel on the road from time to time so let's just hope that that Roos just stays upright and he looks after himself but the peloton with Colombia really drilling it now he takes a final drink the bottle gets thrown away well he's picked up some valuable seconds along the way in the intermediate sprint competition now then if he can just stay ahead and add those seconds to the gap he's gained he could become the new leader and force the yellow jersey who is Sutton out of that position he knows there's such a lot to be gained two kilometers to go it's gonna be a cliffhanger this this is a scintillating effort from Roos. Every little rise is going to sting those legs. His pulse rate will be somewhere up above uh, 190. Look at the peloton. They're absolutely lined out. They desperately want to bring him back. Lovely style being shown by the Dutchman here. And let us not forget, he actually bridged to the two leaders earlier in the stage to make the junction, which, of course, formed the break of three. There's the famous bridge you can just see in the distance. And there's the one kilometer sign you know Anthony he's going to do it well the peloton can almost see him in their sights this crowd urging Kai Roos to the finish line they knew he was on his own can he hold on well this is the left-hander coming up and the right-hander and I tell you one rider on his own can find a better line than a big group and they are thinning out at the front but they're running out of ideas and this Dutchman is going to really really relish the arrival on the line because the big crowd are being informed by the PA commentator that Roos is now on his way to that final turn and this will be the sweetest turn of his career because he's going to become the first Dutchman to win a stage in the Tour of Britain. Well he got himself out of the saddle there, he urged those legs just a little bit more, he's going to go down the descent now, he gets a little bit of respite look at the peloton they're in full cry now they can just sense if they can get a little bit more they could bring him back before the finish and the speed that's being applied at the front of the main field is causing it to fracture daylight is appearing amongst the wheels as they take that left hander there's a sense of urgency isn't there that's rippling all the way through the bunch but they're not going to catch the dutchman he's had a fantastic day here he comes up to the line the stage victory stage two in newcastle gateshead goes to the dutch Kai Roos and he's loving every moment of it now look at the sprint behind beginning to unfurl what a gallop for the line this is a fantastic charge for the line and it's Christoph that takes it from Joker Bianchi and behind him was Bosenhagen of Colombia that finished